Justin Maxwell here, Senior Product Manager with uh, Husqvarna Motorcycles and I have here our flagship FC450, uh, brand new for 2019. Uh, main updates we find in our development is looking at how to make uh, a really very powerful motorcycle a lot more easier and manageable to ride for our riders. And uh, starting with that, we look at updates to our frame. So our frame, we've increased the rigidity. Uh, this gives us a lot more uh, stability and a lot more precision for our riders. And that going on with a balanced element to our subframe. So unique subframe for our Husqvarna uh, with a carbon fiber composite material. We've also changed the rigidity there a little bit, uh, stiffening it up a little bit more on the rear. Uh, we found it was flexing a little bit too much when it was really muddy or in some, some extreme conditions. So we stiffened that up a bit and also changed the whole design of the subframe to a new two-piece design, which managed to save 250 grams of weight by reducing the, the total size of the subframe. In our FC450 uh, engine with a big updates to the cylinder head, the same engine we found in Jason Anderson's bike winning uh, the Supercross Championship earlier in the year. Uh, main changes to the cylinder head uh, mean mounting the camshaft and all the, the driving gear 15 millimeters lower. This not only brings our rotating masses closer to the center of gravity, giving us a better handling feel, but also means that we're able to use less aluminum on the cylinder head and also have shorter timing chains. So that means a full weight saving of 500 grams just on the cylinder head alone. Additionally, on the engine, of course, those changes allow us to get a much better mid-range performance, making the bike a lot easier to ride. So when looking at our engine, we don't just look at the engine itself, but of course the complete power pack. Uh, this is everything that influences the engine behavior. So of course the engine itself. Additionally, new exhaust systems, new airbox and intake snorkel, as well as new mapping. And all of this has been tailored to make the riding much more manageable for the rider. With the 450 making so much power, uh, we could make it even faster if we wanted to, but of course, that makes it really difficult for the majority of the people to put that power to the ground. And we really focused on getting that connection between the rider and the ground. A component running very well on our previous models, but we're all striving to improve wherever we can. Uh, we look at our cooling system. We have brand new radiators on our motocross range. Now mounts are 12 millimeters lower, uh, bringing this full weight of the radiators as well as the coolant closer to the center of gravity. Additionally, the center pipe which runs down in our frame on our, our bikes, we've also increased the circumference by four millimeters. Uh, in the past, we found that the, there was a bit of a pressure blockage there, increasing the velocity of our coolant. And with this change, we're able to reduce the velocity of the coolant moving through the complete circuit and improving the cooling overall. On our model year 19 uh, FC450, we have the WP Air 48 front fork. Uh, this fork, we're having really good results and really good feedback uh, of late. Uh, we don't just use it for its ability to save quite a lot of weight but we're also really happy with the function and the ability it has to be adjusted so easily with the single air pressure valve. Uh, for Molya 19 and the, the frame rigidity changes we've changed some settings on the fork uh, this being a little bit stiffer and a little bit more progressive throughout. Additionally we have a new grease that we've developed uh, for our cartridge which reduces the cartridge friction by 50 percent making a much more fluid movement through the whole stroke of the fork. For full information of our models, uh, we have it uh, on our website at HuskavanaMotorcycles.com.